How's everybody doing this morning? I'm going to talk about now are you or do you, or is somebody that you know get really grouchy when they get hungry? I used to and I what I'm thinking is that the people that have been cursed with that demon, the hunger demon, where you just get so frustrated and mad. That's because I think that those people are the people that the spiritual realm really, really, really fears that they're ever going to start fasting. Because if you get so mad about eating or whatever when you're hungry, well, there's a good chance that you're probably not going to be able to fast very good either then. Until you have the Holy Spirit and then the Holy Spirit kicks all that stuff out of you. You do self-deliverances in Jesus' name. Bind them demons up. They know they gotta go. Once you're saved, it's just a matter of time before these things start disappearing that you once knew in your life is just how things were. You'll just start getting different feelings and they'll just go away and they won't bother you no more. So it was just a quick little thought. Because there's a reason, I mean, through trauma-based mind control is how that they would stick a, uh, like a demon, a hunger demon as a altered personality. They would do that through starving you. And then, you know, when you're young, little, they say between the ages of three and six. And then them can be implanted in us like that without us ever even knowing but yet these demons are fighting against us our whole life unless you know how they work and it can be any kind of a demon if it's something that kind of i mean if it don't feel good when it happens you know what feeling miserable is like and being angry or anything or real depressed well, they would put that, they would definitely want to put that demon in all of God's children, you know. The, the demon of depression. I had the depression one, I had the hunger one. Jesus has fixed everything, so, you know. It's all because of him, I didn't do nothing. I struggled with that stuff my whole life. <clears throat> so basically <laughs> just uh, get saved open your heart up to Jesus start trying to search him out a little bit confess with your mouth that he is the king of kings and the lord of lords and he died on the cross for us and came back to life three days later he died for our sins and he really is the only way out of this place. The new age stuff and all that, you know, you can do it on your own. Man, these people, they are going to be so shocked when the day comes. And they're going to, like what, Anton LaVey, when he was laying on his deathbed, his last words that he said were, Oh my, oh my, there's something... There's something uh, terribly wrong. Oh my. And that was the last thing that he said. And he was a Satanist. So it wasn't exactly what he thought, now was it, when he died? It sure didn't sound like it. They said he went into shock. And he started saying that stuff. So he was very surprised. And he's the one that a lot of people follow. He wrote the Satanic Bible. Yeah, he figured, he seen right then that uh, he had it wrong on his deathbed 
But then, you know, a little too late. Now you got to deal with eternity. Eternity might start tomorrow or today for some of us. Who knows, you know? So, anyways, I love you guys. Just wanted to say hi this morning and talk with you a bit. So, see you. Love you. Bye.